today is what like how many days have you been in here doing this distillation well, it feels like it's like session three of it's about that and and for me on this particular session for the double distillation it's probably well it's been it's over 24 hours yeah uh, i'm starting to approach it the 30 hour mark <laughs> but, so, uh, so i just kind of want to get a quick visual of what we have here so so we've got the mercury in here correct well not not quite or is it in there right now yeah there's mercury in there okay so there's, yeah, small, so. so there's mercury in there and then we're going to heat it up so all right, I'm gonna interject right here to lay out kind of what the distillation process is because it's not very clear. Plus when I go underneath the hood, the sound gets really bad. So essentially in this diagram right here, this the liquid on this one side is the mercury that we have. And we are trying to purify this mercury as much as possible. And so we are going to heat the mercury up until it's boiling. So we're boiling this metal. And when we boil it, it turns into a vapor. That vapor rises up and goes down this tube, which is being cooled by water. It's turning that vapor back into a solid, and then it will drip slowly into the containment vessel. So hopefully that will make sense as we continue moving forward. That's right. I think we're good. You're good. So we'll distill this down completely today. Uh, then uh, if we have time, we'll set it up to at least run for tomorrow still it out again and then it's we're ready for the uh, next experiment but from hazardous waste to uh, useful material for science that's a win-win so but we have done a chemical clean so just the base level clean yeah. and then we've done this distillation process twice yeah. for the amount of mercury which we have which is how many like i'm not sure how much we have i'm gonna guess we have at least 12 and a half pounds probably 15 pounds okay uh tom's gonna give us a hundred pounds Wow. You would look at that little jar and you would not think that in any way, shape or form is that 10 to 15 pounds, but oh, you yeah. pick it up and certainly it feels so heavy. Yeah, it's super, super dense. It feels just like a magnet to the earth. Oh yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Which is gravity. Yeah, good old gravity. So drip, drip, drip. Yeah. One drop at a time. Won't be much longer. Cool. vapor is what is is dangerous yeah. right and so we're just making sure that none of we that gets out everything. so here's you know it's it's really cold in here so it's trapped really yeah. cold in here trapped again and then it goes through the filter down here right yeah two of them yeah one filter on the input into the pump because we don't want any mercury getting into the pump then on the output line just in case somehow some mercury manages to make it through there's a filter there then up through this tube that goes up the filtration that's on the which the filtration that's on the hood is designed for it's chemistry designed for to, stuff, to yeah. filter stuff like they this out. They can handle it. Most guys don't even do it. You know, they don't, you know, if they're not running a distillation pump, it's real common for this just to come out. It goes inside a, a water bath. That's yeah. it. That's all that they do for it. So okay. we are going uh, above and beyond <laughs> uh, what's needed. So, But, you know, why not? We've got the equipment. Let's use it. While I'm currently working on the distillation video from like the first few times that we've gone through it. Um, Ian has been busy, hard at work, as usual, setting up the bigger apparatus. So you had mentioned before that we were going to get 100 pounds of mercury from Tom. Over at Chem Lab Supply. And so getting 100 pounds of mercury requires a much bigger setup than what we had, it right? It certainly does. And so now, behold the newer setup. So we have this giant orb and even larger orb. How many, this is five liters? Yeah, that's a, called the round bottom flask is the round bottom. So yeah, that's a five liter flask, so we could easily put most of our mercury in there. We can do most of it in one shot. It's terrific. This is just a mock-up right now. So we need to uh, put Teflon on all the joints uh, because we're pulling vacuum on this. And I'm making a plug from the very tippy top. We won't be able to run my thermometer, but aside from that, we will be able to do everything else that I wanted to do. I may just end up, I may just end up tacking this on to the end of the video to show the really, really up-to-date stuff, um, but then the, at the end of what I just explained. So basically to recap though, we've got the heating mantle here. So round bottom flask, this is a big row uh, column. Big row column. Yeah, so that basically it helps purify. Okay, so this is gonna help purify the vapor. The vapor will condense here as the water is circulating through it and cooling yeah. it off. And then that liquid will, will recondense, become a liquid and drip down into this containment vessel. Yeah. 
Um, and then there's going to be extra precautions, extra precautions for safety, and this will all be under vacuum. And we've got our vacuums down there, and our filtration up there, and our mercury right here, and our 100 pounds of mercury in there too. Yeah. Nice. That's a whole cake And what's insane to me is that, yeah, you can fit a two liter of soda or two liters into this orb, which it looks so tiny, but you can do it. So, so that's the most up-to-date recap. Thank you for watching. Oh, hello guys. They're just walking Sorry, we're interrupting. No, no, not at all. So, back to work. Thank you for watching. Right. Hopefully you enjoyed this distillation video and bye-bye, uh, bye-bye.